Hey. The expected attacks on American air bases came Tuesday as more than a dozen ballistic missiles were fired into two major air bases in Iraq, housing American troops. No casualties reported. The time for hit and run is over. If you hit, you get hit back. Iran taking credit and warning the U.S. of more, quote, crushing responses in case of new aggression on Iran's state-run TV. The punctuation, an official Twitter statement. Get the hell out of our region. Hashtag hard revenge. In the U.S., reaction was swift. This was an act of war. President Trump's response late last night, all is well. We have the most powerful and well-equipped military anywhere in the world by far. I will be making a statement tomorrow morning. We are not looking to start a war with Iran, but we are prepared to finish one. Presidential candidate Elizabeth Warren at a Brooklyn campaign event taking a far different tone. This is a reminder why we need to de-escalate tension in the Middle East. The American people do not want a war with Iran. But the attack, coming in the middle of the night in Iraq as American troops were sleeping behind protective concrete barriers, is being questioned. Was this more of a show than an actual attempt to harm? We're prepared to attack if we have to, as retribution. Now, a full assessment of the damage to the air bases can't come until daylight, which we are still waiting for. Not only are we expecting to hear from President Trump today, but also Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu expected to weigh in on this escalation. Live from the newsroom, I'm Kirsten Cole. Back to you, Craig and Gala. All right, Kirsten, thank you. Meanwhile, the NYPD is telling people here at home to remain vigilant. The department's counterterrorism group tweeting, the NYPD is closely monitoring the events in the Middle East. There are no specific or credible threats to, to New York City, but the NYPD continues to have increased deployments and has adjusted their resources across the city out of an abundance of caution.